What a perfect time for college football here as we watch the teams entering the stadium. And it's going to be a scorcher out here for today's game between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the home team. And here comes the home team. Welcome, everybody. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? You know, I think in a game like this, you need to look at the big playmakers. The home team has a slight advantage in this one, guys, and it all starts on defense, especially at corner. His ability to make plays on defense is why I like them to pull this one out. I like that pick, and I'm going to tell you why. Iowa is set to have a terrible game offensively. I think they're going to turn the ball over three, maybe four times against this talented defense, and I think they're going to lose this ball game, Kirk. Well, thanks, guys, and it looks like we're ready for the coin toss. And they're ready to kick this one away. Decent kick. Looks to be returnable. Number 21. Fields it at the 7. They'll get the ball here at the 25-yard line. in a two-time set, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Nowhere to go on that play, Coach. Boy, you're absolutely right, Brad. This is a great job by the defense in not giving him any room to create anything. Second and 13. Ball on the 22-yard line. Back to pass. He'll dump this one off, and it's caught. McDonald with a takedown. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Number 29 is a deep back as they line up in the eye. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. He spins. They'll bring him down. Three plays, zero first downs. Not what they had in mind. Well, this defense looks very impressive right now. They suffocated the offense that go-around. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. He gets it off. Thornton takes it to 28. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping on the receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. First and 10. Ball on their own 14. Two tight ends here. They'll drop him for a loss. No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps and the possible cutback lanes by the defense. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 13. Number 27, alone in the backfield. He'll get it again. He's on the run. And down he goes. And he pulls off a great run. Let me tell you something. This kid is a good running back, and I haven't seen moves like that since my high school prom, sweetheart. <laughs> Easy, coach. You don't want to scare off any of our viewers. First and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. Number 12 is back in the gun. He drops back. Looks. Scrambling around. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. 
The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Second it's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 24. Single set backfield. Again, he'll get the call. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Third down and 12. Ball on the 22. Four wide. Play action. He's looking. He zips one over to the right. And it's incomplete. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. They send out the punting unit. Number 11, back deep to return. Ulrich gets it off. Number 11 fields it at the 41. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Excellent field position to start the drive. Number 29 lines up in the deep back, I formation. On the ground with the tail. Brought down. The back gets three on the carry. Three yard gain on the play. Second and seven. Ball on the 45-yard line. Iowa in a four-wide set. Throws this one out to the right. It's intercepted. And a fantastic individual effort on that one, Coach. Kirk reminds you a lot of alley ball. Yeah, Coach, I agree. Kind of reminds me of backyard football. You know when you kind of bait that quarterback, hoping he tosses it up, so when the ball's released, you just step up and make the interception. They'll go to work at the 18. Yeah. Iowa lines up in a dime defense here. They go with the run. Tackle. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. Five-yard gain on the play. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 23. The Hawks line up with six defensive backs. Nice play fake. Looking. Now he's scrambling. Here comes the pressure. Here's an opening. And he's taken down. He kept the ball on that one and picked up a first down. I think this is a great decision by the quarterback here to take off and run. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Yeah. Number 27 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Up the middle. Brought down. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. 15 yards spot the foul. The defense All lends them a hand with that penalty. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so frustrating, isn't it? First it's first and ten. ten. Ball on their own 45. Yeah. They line up in an eye. They'll throw on first down. Looks. It's deflected. Batted away. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. So it's second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. Got a throw in a hurry. Wants the middle. 
How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. Third and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Four wide. He drops back. He's looking. Steps up. Across the middle. They'll bring him down. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they get really frustrated defense. When they convert a third and long, it just makes them sick. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. And he's tackled. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Three-yard gain on the play. Second and seven coming up here. This is the eighth play of this drive. Iowa comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Wants to throw outside. It falls incomplete. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty. Still he held him up on that play. It looked like he just grabbed his jersey and just refused to let it go. Second it's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. The home team come out in the ace formation. Drops back to pass. Looking. Steps up in the pocket. Someone got a hand on it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Almost a turnover. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops we like to see. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Hawkeyes line up in a nickel back. Back to pass. Looks. He steps up under heavy pressure. And he's going to be sacked. They were bringing a heavy rush on that one. Brad, that's what happens if the quarterback holds the ball too long, waiting for his receivers to get open. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. He gets it away. Number 11 takes it at the 20, and he's hit hard. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shot at the 24-yard line. Two tight ends here. He drops back, throws this one out to the left. And they couldn't hook up on that one. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was. And it was a catchable ball thrown right at him. He just didn't catch it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 24. The Hawkeyes come out in a two tight end set. On the ground, up the middle. And they make the stop. A one yard gain by the halfback. One yard gain on the play. Third and nine. Ball on the 25-yard line. The home team bringing the nickel package. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. Complete. What a catch. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Iowa. They hooked up for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They design plays specifically for him, like the one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdowns. Yeah! 
and he tacks on the extra point. With about three minutes of play remaining here in the first quarter, our score, Iowa, seven. The home team, nothing. Number one, looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Thornton fields it at the three. There's a missed tackle. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping on the receiving team. After distance to the spot of the foul. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost him. They'll take over at the nine-yard line. Ace backfield. tailback one two three Kirk he might be up for the count oh what a hit you know at the end of the year you're gonna look back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year that guy can really bring it second and 13 coming up here ball on the six from the gun Goal 32. Cut. Back to pass. He's looking. Steps up. Going deep. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. It's third down and 13 to go. Ball on their own six. The home team come out in the shotgun. He drops back. He's rolling right. He's going right. And it falls incomplete. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. The quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. They line up to punt this one away. He gets it off. Number 11 calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 43-yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Number 29 alone in the backfield. Over the middle. Picks it off. What an interception by the cornerback. This guy needs to be playing both sides of the ball. He can catch the ball better than some of these receivers. They'll start this drive at the 30-yard line. The home team go with the eye formation. They're going to pitch it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 35-yard line. A pickup of five. Five-yard gain on the play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Iowa brings in their nickel package. Drops back to pass. Throws. And down he goes. About four yards on that play. Gain of four on the play. It's third down and a yard for the first down. Ball on the 39. Number 27 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Bounces off the would-be tackler. And he's tackled. Short gain there by the halfback for the first down. First and ten. Ball on their own 41. The home team set up in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. He throws it. It's deflected. Great defensive play by the cornerback. The intended receiver on the play. It's second down and ten to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. 
The home team line up with three wide. Back to pass. Looking. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The home team set up in the gun. Looks. He steps up across the middle. The ball is tipped. And that one's fallen incomplete. He's lucky that pass fell innocently to the turf. Yep. Total coverage on that one. Got to pick his destinations better. Ball on the 41 yard line. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 11. Back to Punts the ball away. Number 11 takes it at the 23. With the spin. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. And great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? They line up in an eye. On the ground with a tailback. Makes a move. They'll bring him down. Three yards there on the play. Three yard gain on the play. Second and seven. Ball on their own 49. Four wide. He drops back. Steps up. He's looking. Across the middle. His receiver has it. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Nickel defense. They'll throw on first down. He's going right. It's broken up. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. Second and 10. Ball on the 37. The home team line up in a nickel back. Looking. Throws this one out to the left. The ball is tipped. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 37-yard line. The defense lines up with 6 DB. Drops back to pass. Throws to the middle. Got it. And they make the stop at the 20. Oh, my, that long game gives them a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. First and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, our score, Iowa, seven. The home team, nothing. It's first and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. Number 29 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Pitch is right. And they hit him in the backfield. Here the receiver needs to do a better job of holding his block on the corner or there's no place for the ball carrier to go. It's second down and 11 to go, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. And it's incomplete. So another third down upcoming for the offense. They'll bring in their dime package. He drops back. Throws this one out to the right. Someone got a hand on it. 
And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Lines up for the field goal. This could make it a two-score game. He gets it up. And it splits the uprights. Here's the Pontiac drive summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. Iowa ready to kick this one off. Norwood and Thornton set to return. Kicks it off. Norwood takes it at the four. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 20. Number 27 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. On the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. It's first and 10, ball on the 42. Nickel defense. A little misdirection. Brought down. A seven-yard run by the running back. Seven-yard gain on the play. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 49. Number 27 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. There he goes. Up. Tackle. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. First and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. The home team go with the I formation. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Offsides on the defense. Five yard penalty. The defense the lends them a hand with that penalty. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so frustrating, isn't it? First down and five to go. Ball on the 34. Again, he'll get the call. Broke away from one. They'll bring him down. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? Oh, a thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. First and ten. Ball on the 24. The home team come out in the ace formation. Counter play. Brought down. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. Ten yards was spot of the foul. And he got caught holding. Yeah, you can't get caught with your hands on the outside of another player if you're going to block him. They have to stay in front, and that time the player didn't do that. It's first and a mile. Ball on the 30-yard line. The home team line up in an I formation. Again with the run. And he's taken down. They get about five yards from the halfback. Five-yard gain on the play. Second, Second and 11 ball. coming up. Ball, ball on the 25. Five yard line. The home team set up in the gun. 
Drops back to pass. Looks. He's scrambling. Throws this one out to the right. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. Third and 11. This is the seventh play of this drive. The home team come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. Across the middle. And it's knocked away. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. Fourth and 11. Ball on the 25-yard line. The kicker lines up, hoping to bring them within one score. The kick is up. And it's good. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Wallace looks ready to kick this one off. Number 21, back deep to return. Kicks it off. Let's get the call. Illegal procedure on the kicking team. The ball is spotted at the 35. Well, if you're the return team, you got to like that one. Yeah, because you get great field position and nobody has to get hit. They'll go to work at the 35. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. On the ground, the tailback. And down he goes. Just about three yards there. Three yard gain on the play. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on their own 38. Iowa comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Pitch left. Spins upfield. Brought down. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Third down and seven. Ball on the 38. They go with the run. And they got him for a loss. Three plays and out, guys. It sounds simple. You've got three plays to get 10 yards. But trust me, sometimes that's not as easy as it sounds. They send out the punting unit. Number 28 gets it off. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. They'll set up shot at the 29. The Hawkeyes bring in the nickel package. On the ground with the tailback. And he stopped behind the line. He let that little corner bring him down. No to be a productive runner at the college level, you have to make that guy miss and get upfield. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 29. One man backfield. He drops back. He's going right. The ball is tipped. 
And the corner got in there and broke that one up. On the cover. Third and ten. Ball on the 29. Number 12 is back in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. Throws it to the outside. He's got the fullback. And they make the stop. And they fail to convert for the first down. Well, the offense hates to see that. The defense again, Coach, stepping up. The defense is important. It wins football games for you. Fourth and two. Ball on the 37-yard line. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 11, back deep to return. Ulrich gets it off. Number 11 takes it to 23. Lost the ball. Come on. Number 51 with a recovery. First and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Number 27 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Hand off up the middle. He's got a lot of green. And down he goes. They'll grab 10 yards there. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 16-yard line. This offense has really stalled on their last two trips to the red zone. Tackle, and they get the first. Yeah, good job by the quarterback of feeling where the opening was and getting enough for the first and 10. First and 10, they're inside the 20. Number 27, alone in the backfield. They'll go with a run once again. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Slow developing play, and it got them nowhere. In fact, they'll lose yardage. Nah, just stick the ball in the middle if you're going to run it. Stick it in the middle. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. The home team go with the I formation. They go with a pitch to the right. Nothing going on that one. With the carry, no gain on the play. Third down and 12. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Hawkeyes bring in their dive package. Drops back to pass. He steps up over the middle. The quarterback's got to take some heat off these throws. I disagree. When you're out there throwing the football, your job is to get it to the receiver. It's his job to catch it. You can't catch it for him. That's exactly the kind of comment I'd expect from a quarterback. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up. And it's wide right. No good. They'll take over at the 20 yard line. Number 29 is the single setback. They'll throw on first down. Look. Throws it to the outside. And they make the stop. Gain of nine. Makes the catch. Nine yard gain on the play. Second and one coming up here. Ball in the 29. Iowa comes to the line with three wide. He rifles it to the left. Thornton brings him down. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. 
number 29. The lone back across the middle. Incomplete. Wow, that pass had some velocity, Kirk. Well, I think here the quarterback panicked a little bit and rifled it as hard as he could. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46. The home team line up with six defensive backs. Back to pass. Here they come. He's going left. Found his man. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40 yard line. High formation here. Jets out. Bolden with a takedown. About eight yards there. Iowa calls a timeout. The offense calls a timeout. Second and two. Ball on the 32. They line up in an eye. Hand off on the counter. He's hit and got away. They'll bring him down. And the tailback picks up the first down. Well, here's a play that's not going to make the highlight reel, but it's so important to this offense. You're absolutely right, Kirk. This offense is all about working your way down the field. First it's first and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. He'll throw on first down. He's in trouble. Wants to throw outside. Brought down. Iowa takes a timeout. Seven yards out. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. Pitch is right. Shakes off a tackle. And they make the stop. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. One yard gain on the play. They come out with four wide out. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. What a perfectly thrown ball by this young quarterback. He's gone through a rapid maturation, and that's elevated the level of play for his teammates. If I was a scout, I'd make sure I bring lots of notebook paper to this young man. And he tacks on the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Iowa 17, the home team 3. Number one is lined up to kick this one off. Kicks it off. 
Norwood fields it in the end zone. A missed field goal was the result of the last drive. We'll have to see if they can come through with something this possession. They'll start this drive at the 24. Number 12 with four wide receivers. Back to pass. He's looking. Aaron and out long. Mullen drops it. Almost a nice catch. This is a missed opportunity here. The receiver got his hands on the ball, but couldn't quite pull it in. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. The home team set up in the gun. He drops back. Looking. He's going to try and scramble. With the throw. Complete. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. Third and four. Ball on the 30. Iowa lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. He's on the run. And now he's going to run. And he's taken down. Iowa calls a timeout. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Ulrich gets it off. Number 11 fields it to 31. Gets a tackler. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback, please. They'll get the ball here at the 38. They come out with a big set. They'll throw on first down. He's under pressure. Watch the middle. Picked off. And they come up with another turnover. Now the defense is playing very opportunistic out there today. That was their third interception of the game. They'll go to work at the 38-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Stepped up. He's looking for his man. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Iowa, 17. The home team, 3. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. We should have a return on this one. Norwood takes it at the four. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shot at the 17. The home team line up with two tight ends. Little handoff. They'll drop him for a loss. Defensive Lima was in the backfield on that one. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 15-yard line. Number 27 is the single setback. Nice play fake. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. Third down and 12. Ball on their own 15. They line up in the shotgun. 363 inside four. Back to pass. Looks. Steps up in the pocket. He passes it. That is over. 
almost picked off. Looks like he tried to force that one. And defense was in a zone there, and the quarterback needs to do a better job of finding a passing window to throw through. Well, that window must have been tinted because he almost threw a pick. Fourth and 12. Ball on the 15-yard line. They send out the punting unit. Number 11, back deep to return. He punts it. Number 11 takes it to the 45. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 48. First and 10. Iowa lines up with three receivers. Short toss. It's tipped. Great defensive play by the cornerback. On the cover. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 48 yard line. 391. Drop back to pass. Under pressure. And down he goes. Somebody came free on that one. Yeah, the linebacker shot through and nobody picked him up. He was all over him, Kirk. He wasn't letting that quarterback get away. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 43. Hi. Iowa lines up in a double tight set. He's going to tackle. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down. So the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. They come out in a punt formation. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So before the offense hits the... First They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. The Hawks bring in the nickel package. Inside handoff. Brought down. Three-yard gain by the running back. Three-yard gain on the play. Second and seven. Ball on the 23. Iowa comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He's looking. He's going right. Complete. What a catch. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. Right. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. The home team come out in the ace formation. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. And a pickup of about seven. Seven yard gain on the play. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 47 yard line. They line up in an eye. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they hit him in the backfield. He didn't really have a chance on that play. Boy, guys, how about the defense on this play? They sniffed that play out from the start. Third and six. This is the fifth play of this drive. Four wide. He drops back, looking, can't find anyone open. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Wants to throw outside. And they finally knock him out at the 31. 
So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. It's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Hand off up the middle. He broke his ankle, and down he goes. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Got an immigrant face mask on the defense. He wasn't careful enough and got a hand on the guy's face mask. That'll go as a five-yard penalty for grabbing his face mask. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. The red zone has not been kind to this offense. Are they going to end this drive? He gets another carry. Brought down. That's four yards on the play. Gain of four on the play. Three. High formation here. Here's a counter play. And they got him for a loss. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. The Hawks. Line up with six defensive backs. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. And he's got it for the touchdown. So they call a tight end's number, and he comes through with the score. He did a great job here of using his size to create space for himself so the quarterback could get the ball into him without any defenders getting in the way. Kirk, you know, in high school, this guy was so big, he played defensive tackle. When he's going across the middle, he never shies away from a big-time hit. No, he's more interested in delivering punishment than taking it. And he hits the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summer. The home team looks ready to kick this one off. Number 29 and number 21 back deep to return. He kicks it. Number 29 fields it in the end zone. Great one. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll, They'll go to work at the 23. Number 29 lines up as a single back. handoff a little dude Boucher brings him down a couple maybe three yards on that run second and seven coming up here all on the 26 yard line With a takedown, a gain of three yards by the fullback. Yard 
It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 29. Number 29, Malone Mack, gets past the tackler. He's gobbled up in the backfield. They couldn't even get that drive started. Take the keys out of the ignition, sweetheart, because this defense didn't let him even get out of the driveway. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 28 gets it off. And it's out of bounds at the 43. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll set up shop at the 43-yard line. Ace backfield. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle. Eight yards on the pickup. With the carry. Gain of eight on the play. It's second down and two to go. Wall right around midfield. The home team go with the I formation. On the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really nice read. First and 10. Ball on the 44. High formation here. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's tackled. Four yards on that play. The ball carrier. Gain of four on the play. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 40. The home team set up in the gun. He drops back. Looks, throws this one out to the right. Finds a man. And they make the stop. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. First and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. the ground with the tailback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They sent the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. Second down, 14 coming up here. This is the sixth play of this drive. Going with the shotgun here. He's looking across the middle, and that one's fallen incomplete. And he overshot his receiver on that one. Well, here the quarterback needs to relax down near the end zone, step up, and make a better throw. Third and 14, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. Iowa lines up in a dime defense here. Wants the middle. It falls incomplete. And that was out of reach for his tight end. They're going to try a long field goal here. He gets it up. No good. He missed it to the left. They'll get the ball here at the 24-yard line. The 
Hawks come out in the ace formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Second and 10. Ball on the 24. The Hawkeyes come out in a two tight end set. And up the middle. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And they'll lose a yard there. One yard loss on the play. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number 29 lines up as a single back. Back to pass. He steps up down the middle. The ball is tipped. How about that play right there? Zone coverage by the defense, and the linebacker is quick enough to react and get a hand on the ball to force the incompletion. Ready to punt this one away. Number 28 gets it off. Thornton fields it at the 41. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 37 yard line. High formation here. On the ground with the tailback. He's got a lot of green. And down he goes. How about that run by this halfback? You know what? When this offense can run the ball like this, watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right, because now you got to worry about the run and the pass on defense. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Again with a carry. Brought down. They get a yard on the play. With the carry. One yard gain on the play. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, Iowa, 17, the home team, 10. Second, Second and nine, nine coming up here. Ball, Ball on the 24. 24 Number 27 lines up in the deep back, high formation. Counter. They'll drop him for a loss. Well, the defense here did a great job of sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Third down and 12. Ball on the 27. The Hawks bring in their dime package. He drops back. Looking, and he's going to come up with a sack. A big-time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He simply used power to slide right through and come up with a pressure to bring down the quarterback. Let's see if they can convert. Drops back to pass, steps up, lets it fly. And it falls incomplete. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. You're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll go to work at the 35. Number 29 is the single setback. 
little handoff. Little shake and bake move. And they make the stop. A gain of one. On the run. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine. Ball on the 36. Iowa goes with the ace set here. Up the middle. And he's tackled at the 36. Didn't get anything. No game on the play. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on their own 36. Iowa sets up in the eye. Dump this one off. Dunbar brings him down. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Thornton awaiting the return. Number 28 gets it off. Thornton fields it at the 18. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined. First down. It's first and 10. Ball in the 32. The home team line up in an I formation. The handoff on the counter. And down he goes. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Second and six. six. Ball on the 36. Ball on the 36 yard line. Two tight end set. Back to pass. He's under some heat. Throws it to the outside. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 36 yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looks. Throws off his back foot. Incomplete. He was looking for his running back, but the pass just sailed on him. They send out the punting unit. He punts it. Number 11 takes it to 25. Spinning. Not a whole lot of success there last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll take over at the 36. The Hawkeye come out in the ace formation, and that one's fallen incomplete. Number 11, the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10, ball on the 36. The home team line up with six defensive backs. Setting up the play action, throws to the middle. Incomplete pass. That one way too far out in front. You know what, guys? That's what I refer to as a radio ball. You can hear it, you just can't see it. And if the receiver can't see it, then he's not going to catch it. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 36. The home team bring in their dime package. Throws this one out to the right. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. So they're set to punt this one away. 
Number 28 gets it off. Thornton takes it to corner five. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll set up shot at the 32. The Hawkeyes line up in a nickel back. Here's a counterplay, and they got him for a loss. Well, there's not much he could do to get away from that big defense alignment. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. The home team come out in a two tight end set. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. Got it. He's all the way down to the 38-yard line. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First and ten. Ball on the 38. The home team go with the I formation. On the ground with the tailback. The coach can't like this. He lost the ball. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. I formation here. And they'll run him again. And he's taken down. They'll get two on that one. Gain of two on the play. Now it's third and six coming up. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. And it's caught. And they make the stop. And that pass and catch gives them a first down. Yep, they got the first down. But it wasn't by much, you guys. First and 10. This is the sixth play of this drive. The home team line up in an I formation. Inside handoff. They'll bring him down. A nice six yard gain by the tailback there. Number 27, the lone back. Here's the give. Big opening. He's hit and got away. And he's tackled. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counterplay. The blocking was great up front. The tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. They line up in an eye. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's got an opening. How about that one? Nice call by the coaches here. You use your bread and butter when you're near the goal line. If this guy's the bread and butter, then the offensive line is the meat. They open up the whole rim to score, and without them, you got yourself a pretty plain sandwich. And he hits the PAT. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel to the soul. The home team is lined up to kick this one off. Number 21 and number 29 back to return. He puts it deep downfield. Number 21 fields it in the end zone. 
Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made out of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. They'll start this drive at the 22. Number five with three wide receivers. Inside you. Atkinson tackles him for a loss on the play. And the tailback stopped behind the line on the draw. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 21. Iowa goes with the ace set here. And they hit him in the backfield. He was stopped in his tracks on that one. Oh, yeah, and that's because of the nice pursuit by the defense there. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 17. The defense lines up with six DB. Throws to the middle. Batted ball. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 28 gets it off. Thornton signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 49-yard line. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. And great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? The home team go with the eye formation. The counter. Got some open field. There's a missed tackle. And they make the stop. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, that was great blocking, Brad, up front by the offensive line to open up that hole. It's first and 10, ball on the 36. The home team line up in an eye formation. Counter play. They'll bring him down. He picks up a yard on the play. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine, ball on the 35-yard line. Number 27 lines up in the deep back, eye formation. Inside give. And he's tackled. Three-yard gain by the halfback on the counter play. Three-yard gain on the play. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 32-yard line. Number 12 lines up in the shotgun. Looking. He unloads it. Complete. And down he goes. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined. The Hawkeyes are going to take a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Great. Fourth and four. Ball on the 30-yard line. Wallace comes in to kick the field goal, and he's going to have to get a leg into this one. It has the distance. That would have given them the lead. You know, sometimes you have to feel sorry for these kickers. They watch most of the game from the sideline, but then they're asked to come in and win the game in the fourth quarter. It's a lot of pressure to handle. First and 10. Ball on their own 30. Iowa comes to the line with three wide. Cut! 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 
He drops back. Deep pass down the right side. It's tipped. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Iowa goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. Across the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 30. The home team line up with six defensive backs. Drops back to pass. Throws it deep downfield. Intercepted. Spin move. That gives the defense their fourth pick of the day. This defense is four playmakers. They force the quarterback to make tough throws that he doesn't want to make, and that usually adds up to turnovers. And here's our red zone players of the game. Red zone, when performance matters the most. Number 27, the lone back. 391. He drops back. Looks. Scrambling around. And down he goes. They came after him hard there. Yeah, they sure did. And Lee, I think the quarterback felt that pressure coming from every direction. Kirk, as I've always said, the best way to keep the pressure down and to help the quarterback is to run screens and draws. Second down and 12. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Hawks bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. It's tipped. I tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. We're down to just a minute in this game. The home team with four receivers. Now he's scrambling. He's in trouble. Over the middle. And he's taken down. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they converted third and long, it just makes them sick. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Iowa comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He scrambled. And now he's going to improvise. He scrambles and picks up five. Five-yard gain on the play. The home team line up with four wideouts. Drops back to pass. Looking. Wants to throw outside. And it's caught. They'll bring him down. They convert on third and long, guys. Well, the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. It's first and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. The home team line up in an I formation. Missed tackle. Tackle. A one-yard gain on the play. The ball carrier. One-yard gain on the play. The offense calls a timeout, and now they got no timeouts left. Second and nine coming up here. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Yeah. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. Here comes the special teams unit. Yeah. 
He gets it up. He got it. They win. And this ball game's over. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? I'm sad to see this one in because it's a great game to watch. Iowa played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2005. We hope you join us again soon. Again, our final score, the home team, 20, Iowa, 17.